blink, you can't hide your lying eyes. The new device scanning pupils to find the truth, and it's already being used. ABC 3340 News at 10 continues. Quite the interesting story here. Have you ever asked someone, hey, look at me in the eye mm -hmm. and tell me that? Well, it turns out your eyes really can expose lies. And a Utah tech company has capitalized on that with a product that's being used to screen law enforcement job candidates in the U.S. and in other countries. ABC 3340's I-Team investigator Brian Thea fills us in on the newest way to catch liars. Facial expressions, sweating, blushing, the way you answer your questions. Those are just some of the ways to see if a person is lying. But one company is using just your eyes to detect deception. Converis is the company. The technology is called iDetect. It's a way to detect lies in just 30 minutes, much faster than a polygraph exam. Neil Harris is vice president. When uh, a human being is being deceptive, that there are these microdilations of the pupils. It's the extra mental energy that uh, it takes to be deceptive. iDetect uses a high definition infrared tracking camera to take 60 measurements a second of involuntary behavior in each eye. That includes pupil dilation, blink rate, and other eye movements. Laboratory and field diagnostic studies show an 86% accuracy rate for eye detect results and an 87% accuracy rate for polygraph results. Ron Slay is a security consultant who administers polygraph exams. He says he's seen all forms of deception during his 40 years in the business. He thinks it takes more than a computer system and answering a few questions to detect a lie. You can't automate the human mind. I'm in the hot seat. Reporter Gabby Hart from our sister station in Las Vegas put both methods to the test, starting with the polygraph. Slay asked her two questions that were simple enough to answer honestly. Now, I want everybody to watch the blue line. Is today Tuesday? Yes. But before he finished asking her the third, polygraph reacted. At work, did you ever look at a boss with sincere eyes when you knew the reaction was already over? It took off and it's barely coming back again. Time to test eye detect. Harris had Gabby write down a number between 2 and 8 and hide it. She chose the number 7. Harris told her to lie about her number, but he told her to tell the truth on all the other questions as I detect monitored her eyes. I did not choose the number 7. 8 was not the number that I had picked. Look at the spike on the 7. Both tests caught Gabby either lying or preparing to lie. Slay says it can be harder to catch people lying because they have their own truths. They're not really answering your questions at all. They are answering what they perceive to be your question. Slay and Harris agree that both technologies can get it wrong sometimes. There will be some false positives and false negatives with ID Tech as it exists today. Police departments in Salt Lake, Boise, and Kent, Washington, among others, are using ID Tech for employment screening. So far, no organizations in Alabama are using the new technology. Brian Pia, ABC 3340 News. Federal law prevents most private employers from using lie detector tests for pre-employment or employment screenings. However, certain security and pharmaceutical related companies can use lie detector tests for employment screening.